if you were uh, tight for a little bit of time in the run-up to Mother's Day, uh, Juliet's here is uh, is in the kitchen with a super speedy treat, guaranteed to put a smile on your face. We have we've thoroughly just say we've thoroughly washed our hands. We are washed. Um, and um, are you all right, by the way? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, you know I'm a big old wimp, but then if it's bigger than Bailey, essentially, <laughs> then I get a bit like. Ooh, I wish, I wish we'd got a camera on it. We didn't have a camera on it for when, uh, for <laughs> when we finished the item and the sheep actually got you in the corner. <laughs> it, did. it got me in the corner. I went meh and breathed <laughs> hot sheep breath straight into my face, and it did make me a little bit jumpy. But anyway, we're eating cake now. Yes. Um, yeah, and it's so easy. Um, I love what I love about this. Obviously, it's really easy to do, but when you cut into it as well, you know they're made of Swiss rolls, so you get the yeah. kind of vertical stripe. You usually expect to see the filling going through the hot, through the centre that way. Mm -hmm. They look really pretty when you cut them up, um, but they are so easy to do. Oh. So I've got. Um, I think Swiss rolls really remind me of school. They're quite nostalgic, mm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, so all you need to do is take two Swiss rolls and cut them into roughly equal sizes. Yep. And then I'm just going to stick them down onto a cake board. Ah. So you're kind of like creating the petals. Using the butter icing to do that. Yeah, a bit of butter icing, your favourite. Yep. So you there stick them go. all down. Stick them all down. And you did this on Valentine's into a heart shape one, didn't I you? I did, yeah, that's yeah. how I got the idea for it into a heart shape. And they're really versatile, actually. They work really well in the yeah. heart shape. Um, you, you can actually, um, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Um, so easy to kind of be really creative with them. You can even make round cakes, but this is a nice one for Mother's Day or even just any springtime cake, really. Mm -hmm. um, so once you've stuck all your pieces down, just need to cover over it with a bit of your frosting. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you can make your own frosting, but now in the supermarkets, you can buy the shop bought frosting. So yeah, if you, you know, don't want to put the oven on, you don't have a lot of time, you've got the kids, it's kind of like quite a creative art project. Yeah. So you just well, want... it's like nice that they could do from start to finish as well, isn't it? Exactly. It's completely on their own. I mean, yeah, exactly. Wow. It's, it's tasty, isn't it? Uh huh. And you can do any colour you like. Um, so once you kind of, what you want to do is just go thinly all the way round it, and just make sure that you get the icing, and just kind of make sure that they're sort of sticking together to start with, so you hold them in place. So your first coverage. So that's is kind just, of like your crumb not coat. The perfect one. No. So it's basically. Cover the whole thing, mm. it will stick together, and then just put it in the fridge um, or freezer. If you've got 10 minutes in the freezer, it'll be fine. Mm. Okay. Or fridge. Um, and then you go with another gentler layer. Yeah, so that's my crumb, crumb coated one I did earlier. Yeah. So all covered, all stuck together. So then you can just go over a second coat and get it nice and neat. So. And this is where you make it nice and pretty. So you make it nice and pretty. But with this as well, you don't have to be super precise or neat. Just some lo lovely flicks of buttercream all the way around the side. Mm -hmm. So you it's can just... It's not the easiest thing to do. That's like a really difficult bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I know what you mean. Um, you just want to make sure that you're... When you've got your frosting, hold your palette knife, or you can even use a butter knife. Just go... Um, hold it completely vertically when you're doing the sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the angles there. And just use quite a firm pressure and just go like this. And take your time and just smooth it all the way around the edges like that. How thick should it be? Or is that down to personal well, choice? Well, personal choice. I mean, I, I usually say, like, about sort of four or five millimetres is about right. You inches. can kind of feel... <laughs> <laughs> inches. But you can kind of feel it. You just sort of, like, backwards and forwards like that. If it was you, you wouldn't have any Swiss roll. You'd no, just have a nice That's you? exactly what I'm going in for now. So, yeah, just kind of, like, keep applying it until you kind of, like, have enough that comes right up to the, the sides. Yeah. So you actually are being quite liberal with it. Yeah, you would. Yeah, especially because they're pieces of Swiss roll, so you do need to fill the gaps and everything. Yeah, that's so quite nice. Get loads of frosting on there, uh -huh. all the way around the edges, and then once you've done the edges, just get a nice big blob, and then you'll do the top petals mm -hmm. as well. So just kind of take your. You can even do it with a spoon, really. Just spread it like that on the top, and just sort of like swoop it round, come to, into the centre. And just repeat all the way around like that. Okay. Once you've done all your petals, it's time to add the filling. So you can do it any sorts of different ways you like. You could use um, more of the same frosting and pipe. We've got this one here. We've just piped into the centre with a different colour. Mm -hmm. You just pipe Pretty. on some icing. Sprinkles. We've got Smarties. So this one's kind of like sunflower vibes. Um, and we've got some Maltesers. Um, and you just literally pile them in. You so didn't kind of like just a... pick those up off the floor by the lamp. Not you, these with ones. Your track record. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> but yeah, so it's quite fun actually because then you've got all some like lovely sweets in the middle. But literally, it's so simple. 
Just fill it up like that. It's so good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, lovely. Effective. And very simple. Very good idea. No worm and no cooking needed. No, no cooking needed. Lovely. Lovely, thank you. Um, thank you. Have thank a lovely you. Month's day. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Uh, thank details you. of all of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, head to the free This Morning app.